Hey guys, um, here in this video, I want to show you, as you guys probably seen photos on my Facebook, and if not, then you guys are a loser for not seeing it. You should definitely head over there and add Wicca Gem on Facebook. It's Wicca space Gem, G-E-M. Um, head over there, Adam, that's me. I found a program on my phone where I can constantly update it. So, I want to show you guys my fairy house. I got this from my work. My, uh, one of my coworkers, um, she's, uh, activities manager. She had this and, uh, I always was been, always been drawn to this, this old bird like house cage, but inside it is a candle holder. It's a tea light candle holder. I was going to start working with like the fiery fairies, but I thought that might be too drastic because I really don't connect with fire energy. Um, just, I don't connect with fire itself. Um, the only time when I actually really connect with it is through candle magic. Um, other than that, I really stay away from heated things like ovens and, because I don't sweat and I kind of overheat really fast. So, <laughs> um, but I want to show you what I, guys, what I have inside it. Um, I have, let me open the door, which is the cutest part. I think if I can kind of. Sneak you guys a little peek in the corner here. I have shells in there. I have a citrine uh, and a clear quartz. I have some a couple shells in there, um, as you can kind of see here. I have um, a dolphin necklace that I've, I've worn since I was a, like you know a very young fella, and um, I thought that would be a little piece of me saying, "Hey, I'm willing to offer." I used to wear it all the time before I actually start wearing uh, pentacle necklaces. Um, this was, I'm telling you, this all inside was full of glitter. How did it actually disappear? I have no clue. Um, there was no wind here for the past couple of days. There was no rain. It's just been kind of a greenhouse effect. Um, I have a little purple cloth in there because I thought purple would actually, it's a very light lilac purple cloth. I thought I can create a little bedding in there and it's sprinkled with my personal lavender from Henry. I thought if I give a little personal touch but as well as like little charms of little things in there so I can actually do it. Now I'm in huge debation if I should naturally have this door open so they can come and in and out so it's like a welcoming like a tavern or something um or I'm in debations of you know and the other debate part of me um, wants to keep it closed, so actually there's, um, so that stuff doesn't really fly out, and it's kind of safe, and it's still cagey, it's still open. I don't know. This is my beginning. <laughs> this is my start, and this is what I'm feeling out right now. Um, I do have a string, uh, um, twine. I'm really big on twine, holding a lot of my craft stuff in midair, a lot of twine, because I feel like it's, it just feels witchy, you know? And I do have it out outside my window. Um, I just brought it in here so you guys can see it. But I do have it outside my window. I haven't felt or seen or do anything that kind of touched to energize it or to feel it out if there's a fairy uh, family in here or not. Um, I do like to keep it outside because I want outside only because, you know, that's where they basically are. Not a lot of them come inside. And I kind of don't want that whole fickleness. My fear of fairies coming inside my bedroom and destroying it would be kind of weird. I do plan on, on my next payday, I do plan on buying dark chocolate and organic honey. Um, if you're watching this, Willow, thank you. Um, she's the one who really gets me in touch with my fairy side of me. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you guys that it's so simple to look at something so simple like this. This I probably put in probably, I would say, $4 tops, because I got this for free from a coworker. Uh, but all in there, $4 tops, those little shells and whatnot. That's it. Um, but I did do a fairy call, and I did everything I need to do. I do bless it. I did it on the full moon, um, because Hecate, I did my Hecate ritual, and Hecate is very sacred on... Uh, she's very, she's related to the, you know, the fae, the younger, shorter, smaller, petite, whatever, fairies. It's always been like that, little people. So yeah, I thought I can give you guys a little, uh, little look, kind of a little looky-see. Let me kind of put it aside, let's see. Oh, it's like a regular bird house cage. So till then, guys, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, at Blessed Bee.